I am picking Alexander Pereira. Why am I picking Alexander Pereira? <laughs> My old Muay Thai trainer used to tell me, Muay Thai always wins. Muay Thai always wins. Now, we all know Yiri is a great striker. He's a fantastic striker. Of course, he does Muay Thai as well. He has a, he's got those Muay Thai spinning elbows. Don't let anybody tell you it comes from another art. That is pure Muay Thai. Spinning back elbows are pure Muay Thai. He's a phenomenal striker, a phenomenal athlete, and a huge light heavyweight. Huge. He's massive. I was watching his fight uh, earlier today. I was watching his fight against uh, Texera, and I was amazed. How much, I forgot how much bigger he was than Texera. He, he, he looked huge compared to him, more athletic, stronger. Still, though, I'm picking Alexander Pereira. Why? I think Pereira is going to win the striking battle. He's going to be too tenacious. He's going to land the low kicks. He, Yuri has surprising elbows, and in glory, there's no elbows. That's the one thing. There are a few things I'm worried about. Okay, maybe Yuri is going to take Alex Pereira down because he's athletic. He has done more years of grappling and wrestling, and he's just not crazy. Yuri is a little bit crazy, but if he I found fight night, he's not crazy. And we find out Alex Pereira is not really good on the ground, which, I mean, how much time did he have to really develop a ground game? Everybody he's fought was pretty much a striker. Everybody he's ever fought was pretty much a striker. The UFC's not crazy. They gave him one wrestler. He got wrestled. He got pinned on his back. And then all of a sudden, he did a scissor knee and knocked the guy out senseless. They gave him one real wrestler. Yes, uh, he out-wrestled Adesanya, but I think it was really... Adesanya being overwhelmed with the strikes and he got surprised by double legs. Guys, Alexander Pereira is also a freak athlete. No doubt. But Yiri is a natural light heavyweight. He's bigger, he's stronger. The one doubt I have, guys, is that he gets taken down on the ground. But I don't have much doubt standing up. I see it as standing up. I think it's going to be... sixty forty. Alexander Pereira. Now, the only reason I don't, I'm not super confident in that is because Yuri's bigger. That's it. If they were, I, I'm wondering how is Alexander Pereira going to look at 205. I'm curious to see how he's going to look. I think he's going to look massive. I think it's the best weight class for him. Uh, he looked too big for Adesanya. It didn't seem natural. It, it seemed like he was probably killing himself. Uh, he was killing himself to make that weight. Maybe this is the best thing that ever happened to him. But still, I got to see them both side by side. Then I'll know. On fight night, not on the weight cut night. I, I feel I always get surprised on fight night. They look different. And I'll tell you something. If size is not a factor, if Pereira is really moving up and it's a natural, it's a more natural weight class for him, I think he's going to crush Yuri. Guys, I want to hear about all your comments and questions. I just want to tell you guys really why. The low kicks, the left hook, the pressure, the cadence. He's going to be busier. He's going to throw little choppy kicks at first. He's going to find Yuri's leg. It's going to kill Yuri's stance. If Yuri doesn't take him down, Yuri's going to uh, get hurt. The really the two major things that I'm worried about for Pereira is that he gets taken down. And he, he's not really a guy who fought with a lot of elbows. He has his elbow in MMA, but he did most of his striking years in glory where those surprising type spinning elbows can catch any man. Okay, so that's my uh, take on the fight. Guys, I'm keeping it short and sweet. Give me your take on the fight. I want to hear comments and questions just on the fight, guys. And then after that, of course, we'll move on to other topics as usual. Guys, don't forget to check out um, A Man's Guide to Throwing a Punch. It comes with a PDF. It's a master class in boxing. It's made for people who just want to develop a boxing routine. If you're a seasoned, seasoned boxer, there's plenty of details in there for you. But it's mostly geared to somebody who wants to learn boxing, uh, learn how to create a boxing routine. Okay, so check out... Uh, a man's guide to throwing a punch. Even if you're a very seasoned boxer, you're going to learn some very nice details. Um, I don't want to get into it now, but it's how to develop a boxing routine. It's quite simple, but the techniques in the video are very well detailed for you to develop an incredible boxing routine. Okay, guys, let me hear your comments and questions. We've seen Syria at, uh, Pereira at 205. Oh, yes, you're right. You're right. Um, who do you fight again at 205? Remind me now. I'm drawing a blank. He fought, uh, what was it? Hold on a second. You're right. We did see him at 205. Who did he fight? I'm forgetting who he fought. 
Blahovich split decision. Oh my god, I gotta go back and watch that fight. Oh man. He lost to Desanya. And yeah, that's right. I remember I'm remembering now. We watched it together. We had a watch party. Guys, I watch countless fights. That's the thing. I watch countless fights. I watch so many fights. It's crazy. You guys remember it was round one. Uh, uh, Alexander got his back taken. I thought Alexander won. A lot of people weren't happy with the decision. I thought he put it on him. You're right. We did see him at, at 205. Um, I'm really excited to see him up against Yuri because Yuri, when I saw him against uh, Glover, I was very surprised how much bigger he was. I rewatched it today. I was like, wow, man. He's huge. He's huge. Uh, we've seen Pereira 205. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that correction. Jerry is the most unpredictable fighter Pereira has ever fought. That's from rambling. I agree with you 100%. Who knows what Yuri's going to do? I don't even think Yuri knows what he's going to do. He switches stances. He throws the most bizarre techniques. He does a lot of meditation out in the forest. He's thinking he's got a weird ponytail. He's he's channeling energies from all sorts. <laughs> Me, I personally think the leg kicks are going to take all that magic away. The hard leg kicks. They're going to start choppy at first, and then all of a sudden they're going to start getting heavier and heavier and all that razzle dazzle maybe i'm wrong guys i'm gonna be in new york I have, i'm cornering in new york as well so i'm really excited to be there guys i'm gonna be watching this fight closely i'm really excited about this fight is yuri's magic i've seen a lot of guys try magic and it not work but once in a while there's a guy who does something nobody else does and he surprises the whole world so listen it may be that night I'm going to be watching like the rest of you, but I just feel that the low kicks are going to be kept. I was watching Yuri's stance. If he stands wide, if he stands wide like he does uh, with Pereira, he's going to get his legs chopped up. They're going to be minced meat. Now, would that lead to a takedown? I don't know. Maybe. It was an insane fight. That's from Chemicals. I'm, I'm sure you're referring to Blahovich. I got to go back and watch that. It was a great fight. I remember us watching it together i did a watch party for that one and not every, everybody not everybody was unanimous on who won that fight but i remember uh uh saying that i thought yuri had won that fight yuri's unpredict yuri's unpredictability decreases his striking defense that's from Z zuber zuber you're very right and let me tell you something if that left hook lands could be the beginning of the end could be the beginning of the end I, in kickboxing and glory i think that's the greatest left hook we've ever seen uh, definitely, I would say even in MMA, he's probably got the best left hook. Who had a better left hook than Alexander Pereira in MMA? I can't think of one person. A better left hook. I'm not sure, no. He, Yuri hasn't gone to, to a decision. Um, yeah, he subbed Glover. Did he? He never went to a decision? No, it can't be right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yuri... He has one win by decision. One win by decision. Okay, so let's see. He beat uh, Glover by rear naked choke. He beat Glover, uh, excuse me, Dominic uh, Reyes by spinning uh, back elbow, the most one of the most famous spinning back elbows in UFC. Um, he beat Vulcan by overhand right round two. He beat CB Dalloway uh, left hook. He beat Fabio Molanda uh, Mal Maldonado uh, with punches in round one. That's what was in Rising. He beat Muhammad Lawal, Mo Lawal. Uh, punches in round three. He beat Brandon Hazley. <sighs> Guys, an impressive, an impressive resume, but not as impressive as Pereira. Pereira's fight the who, fought the who's who in Glory. He won two divisions in Glory, and also he defeated Adesanya three out of four times, and he beat Blahovich. Okay, so I think his resume is far more decorated for Alexander Pereira. <sighs> a lot of those guys I named. A lot of you might not know them. Uh, for Yuri. He's finished a lot of guys. Yes, he beat Molawal, but Molawal was way past his prime when he beat him. I like Yuri. He's a finisher. He's a killer. He beat Reyes. No, no. Ex I mean, he's he's a killer. Can he do that to glo two time glory champion? I don't think so. Uh, Coach Potan is way too technical for Yuri, right? Question mark. Yuri is going to get caught, and when he gets caught. It's night, night. That's from Flight Trap Coalition. Coalition, Flight Trap Coalition. I think Yuri is a phenomenal athlete. And if he has a good coach, and if he has a good training, uh, if he has a good training camp, he should be able to double leg Pereira. He should be able to. He should, because when you have that kind of karate, taekwondo style, you're running around, you're not really standing there for... Uh, rock'em, suck'em type fight. You can use that in and out motion to 
score a nice double leg and just kind of take down a guy who's really hasn't had time to learn jiu-jitsu and wrestling. For sure, Yuri has been doing MMA much longer than Pereira all these years. He's been doing grappling and wrestling. Of course, he subbed a black belt. You know, he won the world title fight by subbing a black belt. Let me see how many submissions he has, Yuri. Hold on a second. Submissions. He has three wins by submission, 25 by KO. Guys, what does that tell you, man? That tells you he's a hard hitter. He's a hard hitter. No doubt he's a hard hitter. Both these men have savage, savage power. I can't see how Yuri wins, man. You're, you're yelling me. You're yelling me unpredictable striking beats clean and powerful striking question mark. That's from Mono Orlando. <sighs> when you put in takedowns, that un uh, that unpredictable type striking can be very very useful. Look, if there was no takedowns and they're in a th three knockdown rule fight and it's a small ring, yes, clean technique pressure wins. They're in a 30-foot octagon. They got 25 minutes. They have a lot more time. So movement, there's a lot more movement, and the distance is greater in MMA than in glory. In glory, they're cheek-to-cheek, -cheek, man. They're glove-to-glove. -glove. There's not a lot of time. There's three five-minute rounds, and if that's a, you know, a title fight, and they're just going to, they're going to war. Bop, 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 bop. It's just 15 minutes. This is 25 minutes. We're adding 10 extra minutes. It's, that's a long time. And we're giving them a lot more space. You change the environment. You change the rule set. You change the, the, the time. That changes the outcome of the fight. Changes the strategy. Now that pacing in and out can be kind of useful because you can blitz. You can surprise. You can lull him into a fight that's a little bit slow and he wants to increase pressure. And when he does, you double leg him. King Mo knocked him out too. Ah, oh, Really? Hold on a second. I, I saw one fight of theirs. I remember watching Yuri versus King Mo. Oh, you're right. He lost to King Mo. That was back in 2015. I haven't seen that one, actually. He's only lost. Right? Yuri has one loss only. Oh, no. He has two, three losses. Excuse me. Hold on a second. Yuri has three losses. Okay. These are old ones. One in 2013 by Abdul Karim Adilov, Rear Naked Choke, and from Bojan. That's in 2000. 12 guys we've never heard of when he was young in his career. Those are two old, very old losses. Okay, guys, let me hear more qu comments and questions on this fight. Yuri beat Reyes, but Dominic rocked him pretty good before the, that one. That's for him. Yeah, I remember that fight. He did, he did kind of rock him, but then Yuri kind of went into a whole other gear, man. And his athleticism is, I would say, incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive. Folks, be bet your hard-earned money on my boy Alex Poatan Pereira. My boy will lose all the rounds, but, <laughs> but we know what he's capable of when he wants to end the fight immediately. Let's go, Poatan. Guys, that's from Shiz. Shiz is a long-time uh, super chat, super chat-er extraordinaire and a gentleman and a scholar. Do you think uh, Alex will try to knock out Yuri with his counters or insane left hook? Thanks. That's from Lyman. I think he's going to chop the legs. He's going to see that stance. He's going to kind of just kiss the leg pop, 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 with little kicks. And the kicks are going to get more violent as he gets more comfortable. He's going to want to shield and parry and block a few of Yuri's punches. When Yuri punches, he's going to chop that leg. He's going to chop that leg. If <clears throat> he hurts Yuri's leg and finds it, he's going to start blasting, blasting harder kicks and of course sooner or later he's gonna throw a scissor knee okay poatan throws the pedalada the scissor knee and nobody does it better than him there's not a soul i've ever seen who has a better scissor knee <laughs> than than uh, uh pereira and in yuri's stance yuri might eat that in the face because he's so wide and he's squatted down man he might get kneed in the face real bad <clears throat> Anthony Smith, the goat on paper. That's from Larry Bird. Larry Bird trolling in the chat. That's not good. Does Yuri have the wrestling to take down Alex? That's from Joey Kramer. He's not the best wrestler. Okay, He's definitely not the best wrestler. When Texiera took him down, it was kind of like, uh, you know, he gave a minimum effort in wrestling. But if he he's so athletic. I personally would teach him double leg. I would make him do double leg the whole camp. 
Double leg has a lot to do with athleticism, speed, explosiveness, timing. It's not a complicated move. It is not a complicated move. If I was fighting Alexander Pereira, I'd want Alexander worried about my double leg. Even if I don't get him, I want him thinking double leg. And if I, he sprawls my double leg, I'm going to throw an elbow and knee. I'm going to have a backup plan. And I'm going to keep making him think double. Because I don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a boxing match with Alexander Pereira. Go rock him, sock him. Go like, you know, like what Strickland did. Bad idea. Bad idea. Shoot the legs, get in his legs, tie him up, punch uh, punch off the break. Keep him thinking about striking and wrestling at all times. If he makes one mistake, he's on his back. And if he's on his back, I'm going to sub him. I'm going to pin him. I'm going to ground and pound him. That's what I would do. I think Yuri's a smart guy. I think he's not he's not crazy enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alexander Pereira. <clears throat> <clears throat> Coach, do you agree with Anthony Smith's take on Alex Pereira, on Alex saying his power is nothing special at 205? That that remains to be seen. You know, Blahovich is a a tough guy to to put away. He didn't put him. Away. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you don't get a finish for four fights, three fights. It's not the case with Alex, but. And then all of a sudden, you, you see a fighter go on a five-fight win streak. Or it's the opposite. They go on a five-fight win streak, then they don't finish somebody for two or three fights. It's not... It doesn't mean because you, you've knocked out so many opponents in the past that every fight is going to lead to a knockout. No, he just didn't knock out Blahovich, but it doesn't mean he's not going to go on a four, four or five-fight KO streak right now. I think there's a high chance he finishes uh, Yuri. I think there's a very high, ch high chance. Why? Because the man has such a devastating left hook. Um, he's got 25 minutes to chop Yiri's legs. And um, I don't know, man. I think he's just going to chew those legs up. <clears throat> what are the chances that Yiri can catch Alex? That's from Zach. I think they're very... Look, he just got knocked out by Adesanya. He came back. He fought a light heavyweight, won the fight. Some people didn't like the decision. I thought it was a legitimate fight. Blahovich has a crazy left hook of his own. He would stand everything Blahovich had to give him. I think that if he chops Yuri's legs, Yuri's not going to have the power to finish him. However, if he doesn't, and Yuri connects, man, Yuri can knock out anybody. He's a very, very powerful, athletic individual. Who's going to be pushing the pace more, in your opinion? I definitely think, no doubt, Alexander Pereira. Alexander Pereira wants to get in his face. He wants to fight him in a phone booth. He wants to chop those legs, he wants to th to throw hands, and he, he wants to put that pace. Glory fighting is very high pace. Guys, I've trained with glory fighters. I just trained with the uh, glory champion uh, Elias and uh, Elias in Morocco. He's a killer. Man. Their pace is so high. It's much higher than MMA, much higher. MMA, there's smaller gloves, greater distance. We're looking for two or three shots and get out. These guys know. In glory, it's pressure, 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 pressure. It's a, They want to overrun you with pressure. Um, the safest place to, is to be on the inside for them. You know, Usually, a lot of these glory fighters, they grew up in a ring. In a ring, there's not a lot of room to run around. If you run around, you get stuck in the corner. You get corralled into a corner, and that's a bad spot. In the octagon, there are no corners. There are no corners. There are wedges, maybe, but no corners. And you have a lot more room. Guys, that makes a massive difference. Then you make the gloves smaller. Well, wait a second. All of a sudden, I don't want to stand in the pocket where we're trading back and forth. In glory, your gloves protect you a lot more. And you're obviously your opponent's padding has more padding. A glove have, has more padding. That combination of you having more padding and him having more padding just makes for a different fight. It makes for a different feel, different pace. And um, in MMA, you just can't. You you rarely can keep that pace for the entire fight. Maybe in the end of the fight where the two athletes are not as explosive, then they'll start mimicking that glory style where they're in the pocket hitting each other because they're not hitting that hard because they're weakened from maybe an exhaustive round and a half of wrestling, scrambling, etc. And then all of a sudden they're up on their feet huffing and puffing. It's a different cardio. It's a different cardio. MMA, when you wrestle, you're scrambling, you're out of a guillotine, then you're on your partner's back and you're scrambling and then all of a sudden you're back to punching, man. You're... Your muscles are filled with lactic acid. You're burning. Your lungs are burning. And now you're going to start punching. Well, maybe you're going to do more of an efficient rock'em, sock'em style glory type infighting. But infighting is not as common in MMA as it is in kickboxing. And infighting is higher pace. So Glover Teixeira, 
uh, excuse me, Alexander Pereira, excuse me, is used to a higher pace of fighting. Alex will gas. That's from Christian Shaw. I really doubt it. Honestly, I don't think he'll gas. Unless he gets taken down and put in bad positions. Then yes, because he's unfamiliar with the grappling. I think that's his glaring weakness. <clears throat> Demetrius Johnson thinks Yiri will be the aggressor. Interesting to hear both perspectives. That's from Ryan Murphy. He'll be the aggressor if he takes the fight to the ground. Then he'll just maul. I, I think Pereira is not a great grappler. But if it's a striking battle, I don't think Yuri puts the pressure on him. He's going to get his... I think he's going to get his legs chopped. Excuse me, guys. Pereira has blinding, blindingly fast kicks and he has long legs. He has a huge reach. And Yuri stands wide. It's a combination for disaster for Yuri's legs, in my opinion. Do you think... Do you... Do you, sir, think that there is a possibility that Yiri lands that straight right that rocked Alex twice like Izzy did, especially because he kept his hands low so it's hard to see coming? That's from Ad 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 Adan. <sighs> Yiri's got power in both hands. He could blast He could blast a straight right. Of course he can. Absolutely. <clears throat> no doubt about it. Anybody can ca get caught with a straight right hand. And I mean, it's just such a violent shot I just feel man they're both finishers what can I tell you I just feel that Pereira is going to be smart he's going to take out the legs he's going to weaken guys if you've ever been kicked in the leg okay the more you get kicked in the leg the less punching power you have it's a fact if you get kicked in the leg the more you get kicked in the leg the weaker your boxing gets because you're generating power from your legs right so your legs are not operating at a full capacity so it affects your punching power it affects your punching power i think he's gonna chop those legs if he chops those legs it's just really really hard to generate ko power <clears throat> talk to us about alex's touch of death that's from andrew Knoll. listen he's got the touch of death in that left hook he stuns guys he puts them but when he stuns them they're stunned in a way like they're a sitting duck. Like, you remember when he hit Adesanya? I think it was their third fight, counting their kickboxing fight, of course. Adesanya was out on his feet. It's like he... It's like he's... It's like the, the Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Finish him. Like, when he hit... <laughs> uh, when he hit Strickland with it, Strickland was, like, dazed and dancing. Like The shockwave was just so amazing. He wasn't out, out, out. He was like... And then he just got TKO, but let me, let me I gotta watch that again. I gotta watch that again. It's a fascinating left hook. It's like he stuns you so bad. Let me see if they I'm sure they released that fight. I just wanna see the KO real quick. Strickland just walking him down. Yeah, he's. Yeah, that that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. He hit Strickland on the chin. Strickland went down to a knee, like he was kind of wobbled and down on a knee, and just like in that finish him uh, state, just like he, <laughs> that's incredible, man. It's it's just an incredible shot. Like it's finish him and just sitting there he's sitting back same thing happened to Adesanya I thought Adesanya was going to get the scissor knee and he was going to get knocked out senseless senseless that's why I was happy the referee stood in I know Adesanya was angry at first I'm glad that his corner admitted that hey he was done because per Pereira's scissor knee I think could have really hurt his career really it's very it's a very dangerous shot could have fractured his orbital could have broke his jaw could have given him an injury that's going to last many years into uh, his his career. That left hook, man, something special. Coach, are you expecting a beautiful right or left hook from my boy Alex to end that day quickly? That's from Shiz. Shiz, I think he's going to land that left hook. That's his best shot. He's going to land the scissor knee. He's going to... 
I think he's going to start with kicks. He's going to go in there. He's going to be very conservative with the head. He's going to protect his head. He's going to chop those kicks, chop those kicks, chop those kicks. He's going to be active with those kicks. He's got 25 minutes to chop those legs. If Yuri doesn't find an answer soon, right away, he's going to, I think, uh, get knocked out. But, again, guys, these are two powerful guys who could knock each other out at any second.